Hey, it's Glendon Cameron once again. Hopefully you are having an awesome weekend. If you haven't done it, be sure to get my free audiobook, The Hustler's Mindset, Pimping Your Mind for Success. First link below. Now, let's really jump into some cool stuff. Everyone is looking for those magic jelly beans, and I'm telling you, they don't exist. I had this interesting consult a few weeks ago. I was talking to this guy, and he wants to work from home. Let me give you his, his uh, situation. Married, three kids, dog and a cat. He told me this, seriously. What he wants to do is work from home, spend more time with the family, and make twice what he's currently making. This is what's kind of wrong with the thought process. Anytime that you're starting a business, there's something that's called an elevation rate. You, if you're really trying, well, let me, let me back up from that. If you're trying to start your business and get it off the ground quick as possible, you're gonna spend more time working on your business. There'll be more hours. There's always stuff to do. You, you have to talk to people. You have to build your business. You might have to build a blog. There's always something to do. You will be working more hours than you do on your current job. At some point, you can get to where you're working less hours because you can outsource certain things. Now, there are certain internet businesses, if you know what you're doing, you can kind of get that very quickly, quickly being six to 18 months. Six to 18 months. Let me say that again. Six to 18 months. Traditional brick and mortar businesses, three to five years. So the internet thing is much faster, but fast is relative to uh, what you're thinking about and where you're positioned. So we go on and we're talking, we're talking and talking. And he's like, I want to do what you do. And I was like, what exactly do I do? Because there, there's, there's all of this misinformation because people are lazy and there's like, he did a storage auction video. He's a storage auction guy. He did a Craigslist video. He's a Craigslist guy. Uh, he told a story. He's a storyteller. He he did uh, this thing about politics. So he's, I'm a hustler. And from the axis of my hustle, which starts from media creation, I create print books, ebooks, audio books, and videos. Everything comes from that. Now, he wants to do what I'm doing. But see, there's a problem. I spent 15 years preparing to do this before I got into the business. This is what many of you are missing. You know, if you want to work from home for real, you need to have some skills. That is the thing that is so critical. And people are just like, I want to do what you want to do. And they don't want to put in the work. They're looking for shortcuts. They're looking for magic jelly beans. And we went on and I told them, I said, okay, this is what I did. There was a period of time that I worked two jobs. There was a period of time that once I developed the hustler mindset, I had like three jobs in two years. Then I started my own business and I've been self-employed ever since. I worked my ass off. There were 90 hour weeks. There were 120 hour weeks. This went on for a long time, which is one of the reasons that I could sit here and talk to you all day long, put up 800 videos. If you count the videos you can't see on this channel, there's like 900 because of the experiences of being out there in the real world, talking to real people, doing real deals, using real money. The internet has lulled some people into a false sense of complacency. There's an expectation that you can come up with an idea because there's this 13 year old kid in bumfuck Egypt who came up with a radio station and now he's a billionaire. What you didn't know was his father was also a billionaire. I mean, the exploration into why things are the way that they are is lost on a lot of people because when you do your research, it's not so mysterious. So we go on and go on and I tell them, it's like, you know, if you want to do what I want to do, uh, if you want to do what I'm doing, from the age of six to the 12, you know, from six, first grade to 12th grade, I read about 4,000 books. So you need to read 4,000 books. You need to join the army. You need to travel all over the world. And you have to start 10 businesses. The first five will be failures. Just letting you know, because you don't know what you're doing. Start those. Then you keep on and you keep on and you keep on if you want to do what I'm doing. See, that's the thing. I don't look at 
famous people or rich people and go, wow, they have it easy. When you put in a great deal of work, time and effort into your life, you're not envious of other people because if you see someone that's successful, you're like, wow, you know what it's like. You, you, you see a peer. So give you an example. I don't mess with celebrities anymore because hey, I'm on YouTube and this is very, very small. It's just a little bit of fame, just a little bit, not even a lot. And I know the crap that I go through at this lower level of fame. I can only imagine what a major star goes through or a very famous person goes through because people are nuts. The public at large can be nuts. So that's part of the evolution of becoming an online entrepreneur. You, you have to do something to be something. You have to have some skills. And if you have no skills, no track record, no background, then you have a lot of work ahead of you, my friend. And that's the problem that kills people. It's like, I want it now. I want my success now. My mama told me I was cute. I should be here. I've got the CEO mindset, but I only got pennies in my pocket. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. So this is what I do. I was the storage auction guy, but I was also the media creator because I wrote a book and I was creating videos at the same time. A shitload of videos. Uh, the name of the company is Conundra Media. What I do through Conundra Media is write products. You know, products. This blog is a product. The book is a product. The audio books are a product. The Hustler Mindset Project is a product. Hustler University is a product. All of these, I create these media content-driven products and I sell them. That's what I do. Now, what do these products do for people? They help people think differently. Number one thing. Number one thing. Think differently. I don't care what you do. I don't care what kind of resources you may happen upon. I don't care how much money you have. If you do not change the way that you think, you're going to keep getting the same janky results. So number one, change. And that's what's called the hustler mindset project. Number two, I put out some information that leads you down a proper path. Because the thing is, what I learned from my Craigslist book is in this disruptive economy, you can write a book and the information can be great. It can be awesome. And then the platform, Craigslist, which is well in their right, they're just like, hey, we're going to change it. We're going to move the cheese. Yeah, we're going to move. Forget that. We're going to move the plate. Oh, fuck that. We're going to move the table. So the information isn't as good as it once was. So that's one of the reasons that I continue to put out content and continue to reevaluate and continue to change things because the marketplace keeps changing. There are very few things that remain the same. So I am a content, a media content purveyor of information. I sell information and that's what I do. Now, there are many people who are resellers who can't understand because I had a lot of sell, success in resell. It's like, if it was me, well, it's not you, it's me. And I'm a purpose-driven, intent-driven kind of guy. This is the life I want and this is the life I created. You can't understand because you haven't put a price on your life. You haven't put a price on your health, you haven't put a price on your time. You don't even, you've never asked yourself these questions. So you're just like, all you know is if someone's making a lot of money, they should be making a lot of money. And I'm gonna tell you, money does not cure all ills. Solves a lot of problems, but it does not cure all ills. You need to have balance in your life. There's, that happiness is of critical importance to me. It's extreme. I don't even entertain new friends unless they're good, funny people. Because happiness is a serious quality that must be inherent in all things that are popping into my life. So if you want to work from home for real, you need some skills. You need to be able to provide a product or a service to people. Now, the good news is there are so many things you can do from home now and make livable income. And for the conversation, we're going to define livable income from 35,000 to 100,000. In some places, if you can make 35 grand, you're doing OK because everybody because you have to understand something about the United States of America. Once you get out of the urban areas, once you um, get to what I call real America, 50% of the people in this country make less than $40,000 a year. 
crank it up to 60, about 70,000 people, 70% 70 of the country makes less than that. What I'm telling you is a great many people in this country are struggling or close to struggling. So when you go, oh, you know, look, I need to be 100,000. Uh, you know, you, you're doing what's New York rent or, you know, California rent where 100 grand, you're struggling. You're struggling on 100 grand in New York and you're struggling on 100 grand in California, certain parts. That's reality. That's not uh, Waterloo, Iowa. That's not, uh, what, was that, what was that place name? I cannot remember. Kalamazoo, Michigan or someplace like that. Those places, no. You and your wife, if you make 60, 70 G's a year and you manage your money well, you're not balling, but you can put some cheese on your Whopper. You could do very well. So when I say livable income, I'm talking about real numbers based on the things I've seen, people I've helped, the, you know, the, 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 the evidence I've seen that you can do this in a very short period of time. Once again, short period of time is six to 18 months. Six to 18 months, because when I say short period of times, this is what you do. Yes, you. You and your mind use your definition of short, which is next week. No, use my definition of short six to 18 months. You can do Etsy, you can do Amazon, you can do Facebook. There's all types of innovations where you can actually sell on Facebook. I've sold stuff on Facebook. You can sell you can, YouTube, you can use YouTube to sell. I've sell on YouTube all the time. There's so many things you have to do, but once again, you have to qualify and quantify and prepare yourself to be successful. It's not going to happen overnight. Let that go. Forget the immediate gratification monster. Come up with a long-term plan. Now, another thing that people become very distracted and upset, it's like, you will not give me, you will not connect the dots for me. This is the problem with connecting the dots. You have Bill in California. You've got Ed in Texas, and you've got Joe up in Montana. There are three different people, three different locations, three different lives. The same information is not going to help everybody in the same place. It's not. One of the reasons that I created the Hustle and Mindset Project was I saw someone who had bought one of my books ask a question on YouTube in the, on the group thread that <clears throat> was answered in the book, which let me know people may buy books, but they don't read them. So once again, if you are serious about your success, you must get your resources and actually use them. Actually go out and do something with the information. Not sit at home and bitch and bemoan and be mad at someone else who took the information and was just just was gone with it. Just took off with it. Just was like, I got this. This is gold. And I'm running for No, because there's two groups of people. The folks who will do shit and folks who ain't going to do shit. That's the two groups of people. It's not about how smart you are. It's not about how much money you have. It's not about your family pedigree. It's about what you decide to do. And if you ask yourself that serious question, am I prepared to pay the price to be the boss? Because there's a cost to be the boss. It can be time. It can be emotion. It can be money. Are you prepared to pay those costs to be the boss? And if you say yes, then the world is yours. Other things that you can do to work from home. Anything. Anything you can run a eight figure conglomerate from your house now because of outsourcing. You can have stuff manufactured and drop ship to Amazon or from your website. You can do so many things uh, in ink. I think it was mommy army or something like that. This woman eight years ago was in Marietta, Georgia. She's somewhere else now. She created a staffing agency from her home that I think earned like 16 million this year. And she's still working from home. 16 million from home. So another thing about working from home, stop looking at what the next guy's doing. Don't look at what I'm doing. Look at what you can do. Look at what you can create. Look at what you can build. Because when you get inside the self and start to explore your possibilities, you can come up with this newfangled thing that can make you a billionaire. Spanks anyone? Girls were out for years, but she 
switched it. She made it special. She did whatever she needed to do. I don't know anything about Spanx. I just know her story. But she essentially made a super girdle in my mind, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, and became a billion dollar brand because she made a better girdle, a better tummy, whatever you want to call it. It was out there. So you might know something. You might be able to modify a header or an intake valve for a car. There are several people that have created their own custom motorcycle shops, custom modification shops. And if you know anything about custom modifications, none of that stuff's cheap. Some of these people are making seven figures doing a few dozen vehicles a year. Dozens, not millions, not thousands, not dozens. So once again, if you want to work from home, quantify what you want to do. And the first thing is, and this is, this is something I tell everybody, ask yourself how much, how much money you want to make. How much this whole notion of I want to make as much as I can is some bullshit and it's not accountable. You what's that? It's like when you go to a restaurant, you don't say, bring me all the food. No, it, you know why restaurants do all you can eat? Because they know there's a certain stopping point. I don't care how big your eyes are. For most people, they're going to stop long. I mean, they're just going to stop at a certain point And they know this because you can't eat everything. You have a limit on that. You have a limit on so many things. And also, when you say, I want to make as much money as possible, you put a limit on yourself. And I'm going to explain that. When you say it's possible, you're not thinking from, you're not thinking from the high level. What your mind's going to do is default to the low level. It's an automatic mechanism that's just going to happen. So you're going to default to that low level. And that's what you're going to make. Even though you're like, I want to make as much money as possible, your relationship with money, your family tree in terms of money is going to really predict how much money you're going to make and it's not going to be a lot it's not going to be a lot it's just going to be buckets for you most of the time you're going to be frustrated it's like i'm working hard and that's something else hard work without prioritization without a strategy will get you not very far there are people who today got up and they went to a job and they work the job Monday through Saturday. They're working hard. And I guarantee you, next week when they get paid, they might bring home four or five hundred bucks after working seven days a week extremely hard. I am not knocking those people because I used to be one of those people. Two jobs, working my ass off. You are so tired that your feet hurt, your back hurts, and you a vacation is to sit in a chair for two or three hours and do nothing. That's a vacation. There are many people who are working like that and because they don't have a plan, will continue to work like that and will continue to wonder, why is it so hard? And it's so hard because you never step back and say, look, what do I want to do? I am telling you this. From the, I'm a guy that's never wrote a book before 2009, July 17th. I watched this video, Sir Ken Robinson. And I was like, I'm going to write books. And I did it. And I wrote another one and another one and another one. It was because it was a plan. You can do this. And I'm going to say something that's going to piss off some of my friends. I made more money from my first book than a lot of people with book deals who wrote two and three. Because of the distribution of the money. Since I was the publisher, the writer, I did everything. I got more money. When you get a deal, you just sell your book to the publisher, which means wholesale, or should I say, uh, did you get it? Wholesale? Wholesale. Did you get it? Because that's what it is. You pimped yourself out. And a lot of people are like, no, 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 it's a business deal. When <clears throat> you wrote the book and you're only getting 7 to 12% of the net, Wholesale, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> that's what it is to me. But, and that's something else. All right, now I'll stop being facetious. Now what I do to generate Conundrum Media is I write every day. That starts everything. I got back on that kick. Uh, new products are coming for 2014. I write every day, I create videos, and I do this. Let's see. Okay, every day. I start off with this. I start off with a list of stuff to do. Not a long list, not 20 items, not 30, anywhere from four to maybe 10. 
frequently, I don't get everything on that list done, which means that carries over to the next day. That's how I'm successful. This, that's it. That's that's my magic jelly bean. I create a list, one, two, three, prioritize it, and I do it. Then what I don't do today, I'll do tomorrow. If I don't do it tomorrow, I'll do it Wednesday. At some point, it gets done. I've had things that I put on this list that took me three months to do because I underestimated the complexity of the list. But it still got done because, you know, I look at this list, I'm like, okay, and it's staring me. And the thing is, I do everything by hand. So that item carries over. And sometimes I put stuff on the list I don't want to do. And I put it on the list because it just keeps staring at me. It's like, okay, you got to handle it, you got to handle it, you got to handle it. And eventually it gets done. I looked at all the goals that I created last year and I accomplished every last one. Didn't accomplish them on the timelines. Now that's something else, you know, people get like weirded up at the timelines. I look at it this way. If I get it done, if I'm working on it and I'm thinking about it, and also what helps is there's other things in the the uh, task chain, so to speak, they're getting done. So it's not like, oh, you're not doing anything. That got done, that got done, that was done, that was done. Then we get this, oh, finally that big thing was done. You have to have some type of methodology on how you do stuff. Just to do stuff, to do stuff leads to frustration. If you do stuff with a plan, you can get more done in a week than some people get done in a quarter. I'm serious. That's how stunningly, elegantly simple having a plan and a task procedure is. Just letting you know. So if you want to work from home, you're going to have to have a lot of discipline. There's no going, there's going to be no one, get up, get up, honey bear, get up, boo boo, time to, no, you're going to get your own ass up every day. There's no one to tell you to, you need to list your stuff on eBay or you need to list your stuff on Amazon. Or you need to, no, you have to have that kind of drive. You have to have that type of purpose and you have to want it to the point that it happens to the point that you got a chance to go out with this hot girl and it's like, nope, I got to do my work. You got this chance to go to this party. Nope, I got to work. I would give you only a few exceptions. Like if someone dies, hey, you got to go to the funeral. Uh, someone's getting married, plan for it and go to the wedding. But if it's something trivial, something that's repeatable, like a date or going out to a club, pass. Pass. You have to make your success, your business, a priority. If you treat your business like it's an option, it may optionally pay you. It has to be a priority. It has to be something that you drill down every day. And you have to know why you're doing what you're doing. Just, I want to work at home so I can make some money is not a real good place to be in long. That's a great starting place. Hey, you need money. That's a serious motivation. But if that's your motivation five years, six years, seven years, eight years down the road, you will have some problems because that motivation is going to wane. It's going to go away because you'll get to the point where you're making money. You'll get comfortable. And you'll sit back and yeah, I'm comfortable, but I'm not happy, but I'm comfortable. And comfort is a trap. So just some food for thought. So if you want to work from home for real, you must be something. You must have discipline. You must have a plan. You must have a work ethic. And if you step out on action, chances are pretty good. You'll get exactly what you earned. All right. This is Glendon Cameron. I'll see you on the good side. And if you did not download the hustler's mindset, pimping your mind for success, do so right now or I'm going to come bitch slap you. I will. I will be looking for you. I'll be looking for you. There's a lot of people. I don't know if I got that many slaps left because it was, last week was pretty heavy. It's pretty damn heavy.